1051. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We have a, a young lady in here with us today. She goes by the name of Tiffany Cambridge from Marrying the Game. Good morning. Good morning, New York. I've never seen a teacher dressed like that before. <laughs> he did say that when you walked in. He said, my teacher's never dressed my like that. My teacher's never had a leather skirt on. <laughs> I love hot teachers. Oh, wow, you know. Well, that's, that's Game's fiance. I'm just saying I love hot teachers. <laughs> I ain't, that's like, that's a very broad, vague statement. I love hot teachers. Are you wearing your engagement ring? No. You gave I don't it back. have it on today. It's in the safe. I thought you gave it back. It's in the safe. Oh, okay. It's safely in the safe. I gave it back. It's in the safe. So now what's going on now? Um, last season, I got a phone call from Games, I think, assistant. And he called me. He says, Envy, can you fly out this date to DJ this party? And I was like, what party? I can't tell you. And I was like, well, I need some money. And then Game called me. And, you know, Game, yo, homie, I need you to come do this party for free. I said, yes, Game, what is it? He was like, it's my wedding. And then it's just... Wait, wait. He actually do it for free, but he spent $500,000 on it. Well, it was free. He told me to do it for free. Really, the DJ wasn't in that budget. <laughs> Man, yeah. Wait a minute. I wasn't in that budget. So what <laughs> happened? Well, I just thought that he needed a little bit of extra time to pull it together. Mm -hmm. So I just pumped my brakes and pumped his just for a second, mm -hmm. you know, so we could kind of regroup, get things back where they needed to be. Mm -hmm. Gave us both a little extra time to clean up some things. Are they there and now? So Is everything good. good now? Yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. We're good. Time to do what, though? When a woman says she wants to give a man time, time to do what? Stop bang some more up. chicks or what? No, not no. Definitely not time to bang more chicks, but dang, time to get the banging more chicks out of your mind. You know. Okay. I think that even when men do approach the altar, they still have little things going on inside their heads, and so they need time to get all that out. How did you get with the game? Because it not you're a teacher and he's a rapper with tattoos a zillion on him. So how did y'all get together? Well, you know, we were introduced through a mutual friend. But, you know, I really got with him before he started me in the game, you know. Mm -hmm. So I really got to know him when he was J.C. on. Okay. So our relationship has kind of evolved through the game, mm -hmm. you know. So the marrying the game thing, it really is me marrying the game, which is a whole thing. Not just him, but everything that comes along with being with the rapper. So you love J.C. on, but you hate the game. I don't hate the game. Mm -hmm. I just prefer J.C. on. So can you know, the I respect game cheat? Him. I respect him. I respect his hustle. I respect what he does, you know. But I'm in love with, you know, the person and not... You know, the act. Can he use the excuse that it was the game that cheated on you and not J.C. Young? Yeah, he has before. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that one before. He yeah. said that's what rappers do, right? So you know, rappers what, have to do. Yeah, that's, you know, it's not so much the cheating, it's the lifestyle. You mm -hmm. know, they're always out, they mm -hmm. club, they partying, mm -hmm. you know, the chicks are around. You know, that's a lot for me, mm -hmm. you know. I'm a regular girl, you know. I want a regular dude. Mm -hmm. God is faithful, comes home at night. You know, I think oh, I yeah, want you're with the all... wrong guy then. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but, you know, he's been, you know, really good, you mm -hmm. know, to considering the fact that he is who he is. You know, mm -hmm. he's not the worst. He's not the worst that I've seen. Last time I seen the game, we were uh, talking about you, talking about the show, and he was like, you're going out now. He was like, he was like, yeah, she's going to the parties now. She's going to buy shoes. She's going shopping now. <laughs> is that true? It's like, you changed a little bit. Well, he thinks I have, you know, I have, and it's just that now, you know, the show is on, I have to be out more, mm -hmm. you know. He's usually the one that's out there, and I'm usually the one that's a little bit more laid back. Mm -hmm. But with the show, you know, I kind of got to get out, mm -hmm. and got to network, so I'm just been excuse, out a little I bit out more. Network. I've All been right. out a little bit more than I'm, I'm used to being out. You can't have a, you can't be a fifth grade teacher hosting parties now. No, no. She, you know? boy, you're not teaching anymore, right? Did oh yeah, I am. You still are. Teaching. It's okay. summer break, so okay. I don't start work until next week. Day after Labor Day, I'm so back So no in the kids messing with you, because if the kids do, throw something at you, be like, all right, I'm going to get the game in tomorrow. Well, you know, the kids love me. I'm a fan favorite at my school. Okay. You know? I bet. It's a waiting list to get in my class, okay. you know. So I, I work really well with kids. It's probably you know? that dress. Probably. You wear dresses like that when you teach? Sometimes. It depends on whose attention I'm trying to get that well, day. I'd be waiting to be in All right. <laughs> <laughs> so now you guys are co-parenting, right? right. That's, that's the situation for, for you in the game. And it seems like he really misses being at home with the kids, though. Yeah. And and with you. Mm -hmm. And the kids miss having their dad around as well. Yeah. I mean, they see him all the time, mm -hmm. you know, so it's not like big gaps where we don't see each other. You know, we're in and out all the time. He's in and out of my house. I'm in and out of his. But the kids do miss us being together under one roof. It seems like you stress the fact that he is an excellent father, but yes. as far as him and the way that he is to you, not, you know, well, where you know, he, he needs to be. I just think that, you know, he's young. Mm -hmm. You know, he's in this game. So there's things that we all have to go through and grow through. And so I'm just being patient. He said know? he needs like four years or something like that. Four and a half. Almost four and a half five. years. Yeah. But you know, that's kind of long. That's, you know, for guys, that, that that's, you know. <laughs> that's like 10. 10, right. <laughs> so. Because it's been seven years already. I mean. Eight. Oh, eight years now. Eight you keep years. it count. You got a calendar. Yeah. <laughs> eight years. You know, it's, you know, it's been a while, you know, but 
I think all relationships have their ups and downs. You know, right. you have your good times, your bad, your highs and your lows. And I think that's, you know, why people kind of follow our relationship because it's very relatable. Very relatable. Know? It is. And one know? thing that you do that I think probably all women do, he says that you bring up the past all the time mm -hmm. and you won't let the past go. But see, the past is not the past if it's the present. You know, the past is the past. If you've done it and you're not doing it anymore, you're good. It's the past. You're good because you can just you know? confuse the hell out of me. You're good. You're the good. past is not the past if it's in the present. Mm -hmm. The past true. is the past if it's the past. Right. If you're doing something that you did in the past today, then it's not really the past, is it? You're not learning yep. from your mistakes, basically. There you go. Right. No, it's still so the that's past. why I have issues with, you know, you guys. You think if you did something on Tuesday, we're supposed to be over by Wednesday. You know, you do the same thing on Thursday, we're supposed to be over by Friday. No, it doesn't work like that. They should just legalize polygamy. If they legalize polygamy, we wouldn't have these problems. Oh my god. No, for real, man. Because right. then you and him could be happy, then he can have his little other wife on the side. No, be, everything would be no, happily sir, ever after. No, no, no. I mean, you if know? that's what he wants then and that's not what she wants, then he's with the wrong person. Right. And you don't have Or to he's are, are in the wrong country. You know, <laughs> we don't do that, you know. Unless he wants to move to where is it legal? Where they have sister wives at? Utah. Utah. There you go. I don't know if it's legal you know? in Utah. I think they just yeah. do it. Yeah, they just do it. <laughs> now I, go ahead. I was gonna. So, what are some of the things that he's done that's made you say, okay, you have to step back and say we're not gonna get married right now? And he did uh, publicly apologize to you also after that. It seems like, you know, he said he cheated mm -hmm. and he apologized for that. Like, how did you catch him? What happened? Well, you know, I don't like the cheating thing, you know. Yeah, no one likes I know, that. I mean, <laughs> no one, I mean, I'm not any different than any other woman, you know. Who wants to think about their man being with somebody mm -hmm. else, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't like small the cheating. Small thing to a giant. Yep. Come but on it, now. But is it, it's a cheating, <laughs> it, it, it's a small thing to a giant, you know, if it's not you. You know, now if your girl cheated on you, how it would you feel? It happened to him, he cried. And, you cried and like and a baby? his girl cheated this on him college. with a guy with a bigger penis, too. And oh, see? This was see? years ago, though. But you cried. <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I can care less. And then he point. bought some ointment to try to make his penis bigger. Oh, you did? Well, I was taking how, these, how did that I, work I, out I, for you? I was taking these pills called Magna RX. Uh -huh. And the pills, then you do a little exercise where you like grab the tip of your penis when it's soft and pull it and tug it and it's supposed to make it bigger. Oh, how did And then he was also masturbating and crying at the same time. You know? That was another girl who cheated on me when I masturbated and cried. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was okay. Well, good morning. Yes. Yeah, well, good morning. <laughs> that was years ago. But so, is, is he the type of person that if he gets caught doing something, does he admit it? No, J.C. on is That's a liar when it comes to cheating. Because <laughs> he loves you. No, he's a liar when it comes to cheating. <laughs> he loves he could, you. He, you know, he could have just smashed a girl the night before, right? Mm -hmm. If I find out the next morning, I don't know that, man. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> if he didn't, I never listen, bad. if he didn't care about you, then he'd be like, yeah, I banged him. But being that no, he loves you no, and cares about no, you, he you tells you. about me, you wouldn't have banged during the first place, No, not right? true. You would be a little bit concerned being that we I've messed up before, I almost lost you, so I don't want to make that mistake over and over again. Right. That's what I would think. Easy to right. say when you don't have a penis. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along. But from no, that. he um he you know, he's denies. But does he own up to it eventually? Like do women no, come? He loves See, you. See, that's a problem. That's, a a sign, that's not a problem. That's a sign of oh, true no, love. No. He's making uh, mistakes, he did, and, and then it makes you feel stupid. He said, that is not me. That has been photoshopped. There you go. That ain't me. <laughs> Shout out to the game. That's what I'm that talking about. Me. Deny, me. deny, deny, deny. Do you think he's owned up According to According to Jay Sion, he's only had sex with two people in his entire life. That's Whoa. me and Harlem's mom. That's it. Why you can't Other believe those him? Two, he's never, ever had sex ever before. Just with Well, what a great guy. Yeah. You know? He's a virgin. Right? But you think it would be different? He's had intercourse twice in his life. I believe him. Our game's a good guy. I believe him. Would, would it be different if he owned up to it to you? you think? No, like, ma'am. You know, for no. you, I'm saying. The slap would still be the same. Damn. Okay, so then mm. it doesn't even make sense for him to say, okay, this did happen. Let me confess to you. No, actually, it doesn't. It doesn't. If I know, mm -hmm. that's all I need to know. You okay. know, when you know that you know that you know, because I'm not the confronting type. You, you know, don't, I don't go looking for trouble. I don't uh, go through his phone. I don't check his emails. I don't do any of that. So you don't you know until out? you catch him butt naked I, in the vagina. Find, I think we know. Right. You know, <laughs> no, you know, man. You know, but when I know, I don't even I don't even go through a long drawn out thing with him. I know, and I'm just let you know that I know, and then I'll handle you. How do women know? Tell me. You guys are sloppy. First yeah. to begin, that's sloppy. true. You guys are very sloppy. Have you ever caught him butt naked in the vagina? No, no, no. Then no. He didn't Is do he it. alive today? <laughs> so he didn't do it. Yeah, but that's how he feels. But you know, men are sloppy. They do little things. They're careless. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. you guys do not cross all your T's and dot all your I's all the time. Now, how do you yeah. handle him? You said you handle him. How do you handle him? I strangle him. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> not with him. With him. With him. Just ignoring him. You know, putting him on ice. The game is sensitive. He's a sensitive dude. Yeah, I just ice yeah, him he is out. And lady. you can tell when I ice him out. You can tell. You know. Yeah. Made him cry. Every made him cry before. Remember that, that? We were talking about hip hop though, but go ahead. <laughs> you know, he rants and he raves, starts acting crazy. Whenever <laughs> he starts fighting and acting wild and out, 
you know, something's then that don't work, and then you ignore him, and then he's you, sick, and can't work. Yeah, yeah, you know something's happening on the Damn, Gay must be my brother for real. For now, real. <laughs> now you also said that you like a refined thug, thug. right? And that's because I don't want a little corny person, mm -hmm. you know. But I also want someone that you know I can take, you know, when I go meet Mr. Obama. I want somebody that I can take with me. How did you bring the game home to your mama with the tattoo on his face? Like, you know, because you're a teacher. <laughs> right, but you know, actually, J.C. has charmed everyone in my family. Nice. From the older ladies mm -hmm. down to the babies. Everyone loves him, you know? But he gets you know, the he tattoos on his face. He has a lot of tattoos. Do you say but you know, actually, he has so many, I don't even see him anymore. Uh. It's like, a, it's, they're just like camouflage. Mm -mm. You know, they just all kind of like blended in. Do mm -hmm. you have any tattoos? I have one. Okay. Yeah, just one. Does it say the game? No, I didn't say the game. Okay. Say JCM. <laughs> it's a long must it must be. I have one in a in a, in a, a low, low down place. in a very okay. discreet place. Okay. Yeah. Now, with, with being a teacher, do you correct game a lot? Because that would piss me <laughs> off. Like you know, you're arguing, you'd be like, "No, that's the proper. Way. You didn't say that properly. Do you do that now?" Well, yeah, I do. See? You know, and he tells me, "Don't correct him," but I say, "Well, you know, you do know the word. You know the correct." But he, he's very intelligent though, mm -hmm. so I don't have to correct him a lot. Smart. Sometimes people think rappers are like don't know how to talk or. You no, know, no. I was thinking because you're a teacher. Highly, he's highly intelligent. I was thinking because you're a teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, he's he's really good. Have you ever cheated out of spite? Have I ever done what? Cheated out of spite. Like, mad because he might be doing something, so you cheated. No. But during Lies. your eight years. No, never that. During your never eight years that. of off and on, did you, were you ever off enough that you dated somebody else? No, I couldn't. Okay. You know, that's how he is. Mm -hmm. You know, you know how you guys are. You can do dirt, but then if somebody try to pull even a little dirt near you, you know, you're going to go crazy. Fall out. Do you yeah. think you guys still could get married? Do you still want to get married? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love to get married and, you know, have my kids grow up in a family you know, with the mom and the dad. So, yeah, I can see that. Your daughter's a star on the show. Yeah, and didn't she just steal the show? Little yeah. Miss Callie is in the <laughs> building, you know? It's good, though, because she takes kind of the light off of us. Mm -hmm. You know, right. we kind of, like, put her out there. <laughs> you know? And it's a surprise. Go take the like, pressure off us. Yeah, she has. And it's like, she's the first little girl that I've really, like, seen interview so well. Because mm -hmm. Callie just turned three last right, week. Right, it's amazing. And she gets up there, she talks, she's so articulate, she makes us both really proud. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I wish you the the best of luck. Yeah. Is he still is he still talking to you about setting a date or anything? You know, he says whenever I'm ready, he's ready. What? He told me that. But you've been going out. But you've been said, ready. Just get in the just get up and tell me let's go. So and you we'll think go. you might? But do I think that? it's taking a lot of the pressure off of us. You know, mm -hmm. not having to to set a date. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. I think I think when it happens, it happens. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, you got, you got to let him happen. have his side chicks, though, man. Side no, chicks. I don't not have to let side him have his chicks. Side make chicks the, make the whole relationship healthy, yo. It no, makes, no. makes your home healthier, man. I'm, I'm going to send his side chicks your way, okay? No. Let him make your relationship healthy. Has, has anybody do? ever confronted you? Any any women? No, Ooh, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Well, at no least his side chicks. never had any problems like At least his side chicks aren't disrespectful. Yeah, they're, they're very they much in pocket. He doesn't have any. He's good. He only had sex twice. Gosh. His whole entire life. I told you that. Gosh. Thank you, Miss Tiffany Cambridge. We appreciate you. You and shout to the game, shout to the to the boy of the game, and when you have the wedding, let me know. I will, I will. Okay. There's no tonight. money in it Still for you. Still ain't no but, budget though. Yes, no budget for you. <laughs> but the wedding is five hundred thousand dollars. Just nothing for the DJ. I know. It's, all good. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. It's Power One Hundred Five One. <laughs> real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Blast off in your head. Weekday morning, six to ten.